right now with trailers, it is crazy. People with used trailers are trying to almost get new trailer prices for them, which I can't even comprehend. Like I, a lot of trailers are looking for at, you know, they had steel decks on them and they were wanting almost $5,000. And the thing is, or even over four. When you look at these trailers, though, uh, you, you have no idea how much they've been abused. And honestly, a brand new trailer is like a little over $4,000. But then you look at them and they put load uh, range C tires on them. And so now you have to ask them to swap it out and it adds to the cost. C's are just not, not where it's at. My friend uses E's. He uses 14 ply. So this is what I got. It is an 18 foot trailer. So it's 16 feet with a two foot dovetail. Yes, that is like a structure for a tent that the previous owner put on it. My friend knew the guy that owned this, and he passed away. So it had been, and it had been sitting for four years. It has four, two, uh, four drum brakes. Came with the box with all the straps in it. The wood was covered, so it really looks awesome. The you know, the, the, really, it's in very nice shape. It has surface rust on it and pull out ramps from the back, which I like. You know, they actually, the best part of this whole thing is that I got a good deal, $1,500. Though I need to put probably $1,500 in it because it needs tires. And also, he cut the uh, brake lines, you know, the electric lines to the brakes. So, I have to rewire that up. And hopefully, we'll get the bearings packed today and get it so it's a nice roller on solid new tires. It'll be fairly good. This should be a lot better experience than last year being the charger hung off the back of that 16 foot trailer. And this, this is 18 feet. Comment if you have any uh, thoughts on uh, anything I need to do for this trailer, cause that'd be really awesome. All right, I'll catch you down the road, bye. Yeah, so. Remember all that stuff I said I was going to be doing today? Well, it didn't happen. And this is why. This. And that. See, somehow or the other, this trailer has a 5x5 uh, five five wheel. Not very common for a uh, trailer to have a 5x5. Five five. I measured it, but obviously... In my mind, I was just going with the start, the typical, oh, it's it's five by, let me get a little better light. Oh, it's five by four and a half, because that's a, like a Ford pattern. Oh, okay, that'll be perfectly fine. So I went down to my local uh, trailer place, nice people, bought some trailer tires, went to try to put them on, and they didn't fit. Thankfully, they're very nice people. Uh, the Gator Tails, they're really nice people. Um, Went back, just exchanged it back for uh, that green stuff. And so now I have to go search. It with less, what about two weeks? Actually, what about two weeks? I got to search now for a um, trailer tire in eight or 10 ply. Yeah, it's 15 inch. Yeah, it's just, this, should, this should make life uh, a, little more, a little more spicy, I guess. So, so far, um, I have, the only thing I have accomplished on this trailer is I've put the locks on it. And I got it a battery. Yeah. That, that's that, And I've ordered some parts. And the parts I ordered should fit. Like a battery tray. That should fit. Yeah, that should fit. The rest has been... Um, yeah, the rest has been a lesson in frustration at this point. And I'm running out of time. The joys of uh, car collecting. So, it's just, a, I guess, the lesson... The lesson here is always a takeaway. The lesson here is... Uh, Forget about measuring twice or whatever. Uh, take 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 a wheel with you. Take take the part with you, so they can go. Yeah, it's the right one. Because now I'm gonna have to look and look and look, and hopefully by this weekend have uh, six new tires on this thing. Because yeah, it's kind of important to have good rolling stock. It's 1,100 mile round trip or something like that. 1,200 miles. It's a long way. So. Yeah, I was hoping to show you how all the brakes were on this and the and the bearings, but I uh, guess that's not happening. Hmm. So comment below if you've had something weird like this happen when you bought something and it just was an oddball, just because. And uh, yeah. All right, so uh, once again, catch you down the road. Bye.